Welcome to the Ameridroid Mini Lab slash Electron Closet. Today we are unboxing the Odroid Smart Power. Micro USB cable, 2.5 and 5.5 millimeter leads, European to US power adapter, the smart power unit itself. and the power adapter. Twelve volts, three amps. It has a European plug on one end and a plug for the smart power on the other. So if you're in a non-European plug country and you have a US type plug, We'll install the adapter like that. Now that we have it plugged in, there's an on off button and a start stop button plus voltage. As you can see we can adjust from 3 volts up to 5 and a quarter. Most of the rates run at 5, but 5.25 is fine. Alright, then you have the terminals. The uh, There's a special cable that will plug into here uh, that a lot of electrical engineers have. I'm not an electrical engineer, I'm a programmer, so this is not something that I have, but let us try hooking up an Odroid C1, which will use the 2.5 millimeter connector. So in order to get that, if you unscrew these, you'll see there are small holes and the wires are color coded. Once you get the wire in place, tighten it down. Of course you can make your own leads out of USB cables or whatever you need to power. Okay, now I want to verify that that is indeed connected, which it is. Now we'll plug in the Odroid C1. The light does not come on, so we'll turn the start button, the on off button on. And here we have an amp reading, so we're at 0.2 amps right now. As you can see, the C1 is booting 0.4 amps, and this is the same measurement in watts. If we push the start stop button, at this point it's going to start logging how many watt hours we've used. Once the C1 goes to the standard heartbeat flash and is no longer busy in the process of booting, we should see that number stabilize. And it is pretty stable around 0.3 amps, or 1.5 watts. Now we'll test to see where we are on the multimeter with voltage. Five point zero six volts, and that is within six hundredths of a volt of what the smart power says. We'll turn it up to five and a quarter, and we'll turn it down to. 
All right. So it's pretty accurate. And at any time, if you want to shut off your C1, you can just push the on off button and the power goes off immediately. And you'll see that the voltage on the multimeter also goes to zero. All right, that's it.